Okay, so how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. No, my lips are not matching my voice right now, but I just wanted to throw this clip in here. This was a video that we did previously where I used the Boho Extreme Cream Glue to glue down my lace. But now I want to show you guys the, you know, beginning to end on removal, which is super important. We have videos on here, but I kind of like want to walk you through it just one more again. Okay, so today I'm going to take this wig off. Today is August the 2nd. I've had this wig on. I put it on last uh, Wednesday. I do not normally wear my wigs that long. Uh, a lot of times I don't sleep in them, uh, but I do I do do a lot of education on showing you guys how to use, you know, hair replacement products. So I normally uh, would do uh, one to two layers and I probably take it off after a day or so. Um, but pretty much since we released the liquid gold and I've been, you know, testing the liquid gold, that's what I pretty much like for my lifestyle because I have to change my wigs a lot, you know, due to me doing a lot of advertisement and education. So I have the picture of when I actually put the unit on. This was last week on Wednesday when I was prepping for YouTube. I don't actually have it on there. I'm just pretty much sizing it for my face. And right here, I actually have the wig on and it is attached and that was last Wednesday. So we're gonna go ahead. I wanna give you like a thorough walkthrough on you know how to remove it. Everything is still on here. I haven't had to do any touch-ups because I did a really good application. I took my time and this is actually from that video that we did uh, last week that I was just showing you. Everything is here and it's still attached. Okay, so let's see if you can get a good look. It's been on here for a while. I think, you know, that's a pretty long time for me, but I knew I needed to uh, do that to make this video so that when I take it off, I can show you the proper way to, um, you know, clean it. Even though we do have a cleaning video, I kind of like wanted to run you through like from the beginning to the end on washing it and everything like that. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. I also felt like I needed to do this because I had did a post on social media because I had been researching YouTube and I did not know that so many people were using alcohol to remove their lace. And I, it really caused a commotion on my page like when I posted that. So this post got like 450 comments, guys, because people were like, it was some people that was like, I didn't know. And you know, I kind of like went into explaining like I'm gonna do now. They were like, I didn't know. I seen a lot of people doing it on YouTube. I've even Googled and it said that, you know, just these are just, you know, information coming from, you know, different people, different sources. And I was just shocked because I could not believe it because one, if I use alcohol to remove my lace and I'm getting ready to put um, another unit on, it's a possibility, and it won't happen to everybody, it's a possibility that I could, you know, tear the skin, put like, uh, and when I say tear, I like to use that term because it's like a paper cut. You can't even see it, okay? You can't even see that you have broken the skin. So when you break the skin and then you go back in to do a reinstall, you'll think that, you know, oh, this product, the glue is burning. Um, no, what you did was before you put that glue on, you did a, um, you know, you injured the skin with the alcohol. So that's why I got so much reaction. And I do realize that a lot of people do the alcohol. When From talking to a few people, they do the alcohol because the remover is a little greasy. So they don't want to have to deal with cleaning the lace. You know, it's easier to clean like when you do the alcohol. Just because you can go in with alcohol and take this off does not make it right. Just because it will come up with um, oil and shampoo that don't make it right. And I'm going to explain my opinion on this and from what I know of being a stylist of over 20 years. So around the hairline, there are little bitty hairs, right? Like your baby hairs and other little hairs that create, you know, the little, your creativity around your face. If you use alcohol, alcohol, as soon as you put it on, it's drying, okay? And it's drying fast, right? So it could snatch some of those hairs. And this has probably already happened to some of you. It could snatch some of those hairs. 
okay so that's why i would not want to use alcohol when i'm removing my uh lace one because it could snatch your edges two because it could burn you or you could tear the skin like a paper cut um and you could get a reaction when you put anything on top of a paper cut you could put lotion on a paper cut and it's gonna burn so we don't want to suggest that i also found out that people was using the remover to remove excess glue from their skin you don't want to do that because there's a solvent in here. This is just, some people are like, oh my God, I think this is baby oil. I think this is oil. No, this is a solvent. A solvent dissolves glue, okay? It's not just some type of made up oil that fell out the sky. It's a dissolvent, okay? So it's going to break down the glue. That's what the remover does, okay? So when I put, my, when I get ready to take my unit off with the remover, I'm not gonna scrub with this because it's a solvent and it could it could irritate you as well when you do when you go back for a reinstall okay so it's very important to follow the manufacturers instructions especially when you're using the boho products you know we put the uh, information on our website we put we try to come here and put information here we also have instructions on the back of our bottles and I just always assume that people would just follow the instructions but there's so much information out here guys so i just want to make sure that when you're using our products that you are following our directions okay so you can see it's on here really really good right it's still on here from last wednesday i don't wear them that long but we're gonna go ahead and remove it i had to leave it on because i knew for this video uh, if I was to take this wig off in like uh, two days, I wouldn't have that much glue on my lace. Okay. And I know a lot of people have a hard time getting the glue off their lace. So we're going to do that in this same video as well. A lot of times y'all having a hard time getting the glue off the lace because you guys are not letting the glue dry properly. So when the glue don't dry properly and you lay the lace down, glue goes into the lace. But you have to make sure y'all slow down. You guys got to slow down and follow instructions so when i put this on here you pretty much want to let it sit and the client or yourself either can lay back because you don't want anything dripping in your face okay so lay back when you do it all right lay back either in the shampoo bowl or whatever because if i'm just up it's going to drip so we're pretty much going to allow this i may spread sometimes i spread a couple times i didn't do that many layers so it's not going to be hard to come off I really don't, I really can't take a lot of layers because I don't like anything tight on my head. I knew I had to wear this for a long period of time, like, you know, longer than normal. So we're going to let this sit off camera and come back. Okay, so I think I let it sit about five minutes and you can see it's already loosening up. I, you know what guys, I tried my best to wear this as long as I could and it's still like, it's still on here. I tried to wear this as long as I could because the longer you wear it, sometimes the more glue you will get on here because I want to do a really good video for cleaning. But a lot of times, if you lay your glue down really well, you're not going to have that much glue on the lace. And I'm looking at this and I don't have a lot of glue, but we're going to still walk through it and I'll probably attach the other video on here. I'll link it above. I found, I had one, a video on here where I had a lot of glue on the lace. See, I'm not going to, all my glue is on my skin. I'm not getting a lot of glue on here. I got a little bit. You can see there. It's, uh, but I'm not going to, I never hardly have a lot of glue on my lace because I properly let my glue dry. If you have an area where it's still kind of like not coming up, you can just spray it some more and let it sit. So it comes right off. And let's see how much glue. I, I doubt if I have a lot of glue. I got some glue spots, but I hardly ever have. I did like three layers. I hardly ever have a lot of glue. So it's some glue barely there, here. All my glue is on my face. And that's because I let my glue dry properly using the, um, I use the extreme cream on this one. So this was, this is the extreme cream. This is the one that I used last Wednesday. I have a bunch of glue on here. Okay. There's a lot of glue on my skin. Uh, like I said, if you go in with alcohol to remove that excess, a lot of, like I said, a lot of people do it because that the cleanup is, is easier and they can get to another client. But 
what's most important is you taking care of that person's skin, taking care of their hair, being safe. Being safe, even if it's you're working on yourself, you want to be safe and take precautions. Because like I've always said in a lot of my videos, this was designed for people without hair. People without hair, they don't have to worry about losing their hair because they don't have hair. But if you're doing this uh, for trend, you're going to have to take ex extra precautions because you have hair. I have peach fuzz around here. And if you lose that peach fuzz, you'll look a little funny when you decide not to wear your weave, okay? So you want to take the extra precautions. I'm not going to use alcohol to get this all I got a lot of glue let's see you see it and and uh, underneath here it was a little um after wearing it with when uh, you're wearing these uh, lace wigs sometimes you will get a discoloration that's the glue mixing this is glue from uh, mixing oils with the glue the oils from your body so it will turn like that so it's best to use a lot of the skin protect when you're doing these weeds. Like if you know you're real oily, it didn't do it on this side. Uh, if you know you're real oily, you wanna use a lot, do several layers of the Skin Protect to block out some of that oil and sweat. So this is a remover that contains solvent properties. So the solvent, like I spoke before, it breaks it down. And uh, what, you, what can happen is if you take this solvent and rub it in your skin that can cause irritation too okay it's a solvent okay it's just to take the lace off okay you can also if you have a lot of buildup on here you can take this solvent and spray it on here and let it sit for maybe 20 to 30 minutes it's going to break the glue down okay so that's something that you may want to consider doing too if you have a lot of glue on there but if you apply it properly you should not have a lot of glue on your lace okay but some people do um more layers they have to do more layers depending on what you know they're going for in their time range and when they're trying to keep that lace on so if you do you can break it down with it okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use some shampoo i have my bowl with water i'm gonna wet my towel and i'm gonna put the shampoo on there and then i'm going to clean my face then I'm gonna tell you a story about how I got into hair replacement because hair replacement is not the only service that I provided when I was a hairstylist and I did it for over 23 years. So you look at that. I'm gonna tell you the story. We'll do a little story time. So let's zoom in. Okay, so you see I have, uh, let's see. I want you to see this glue. Okay, you see it? That's the glue. Okay, all right, so. Let's get this off. All right, so here's my towel. Okay, I'll tell you a story time. So I went to beauty school in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I completed, I went to beauty school in 1990, 19, my son was born in 97, so I went to hair school in 1996, 1996, 1997, somewhere up in there. Anyway. So I went to hair school in the late 90s. And when I was in hair school, we would have people, uh, I'm not rubbing really hard, I'm just, you know, rubbing this off. This is really, really gentle. We would have people, all types of hair come in, anybody, for all walks of life, you know. There was a client in particular, she had cancer and she didn't want to be seen. And I don't think we really had a room for that, but she was in desperate need of getting her hair done. And at the time, my um, instructor, she was like, oh, I know Tamika does weeds or whatever, so let's get her to do it. You know, we don't have to turn the lady away. So I did it, and, you know, she had just found out she had cancer, and her hairstylist could not, you know, do her hair because her hairstylist didn't do weed. And I knew I was just listening to her story and, and everything like that. I was like, man, if that was my client, you know, I would want anybody else to do it because I know... You know when a woman loses her hair that is a very you know significant thing it's a very private thing you know our hair is our glory so I know she felt really bad like having to have somebody else do it because her hairstylist had done her hair for so many years and I was like you know what I want to be that hairstylist that does everything like I don't want to be limited that at that moment that's what I was deciding you know listening to her story that you know I want to be that hairstylist where I can do whatever like I specialize in certain things but if they come in they want a jerry curl I want to be able to give it to them okay I'm gonna stop in the middle of that story so some of most of it is coming off and you could just keep working on it while 
you're getting, you know, and you can even take a, a dry area to go ahead and take off whatever, like it's not totally off. Like that's just so I can keep, you know, working at it. But for the most part, it's almost off. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my story. Okay, so while she was like telling me all of this, I just really felt bad because I felt like, you know, with her not having her hair that was so private and her hairstylist, you know, that had been doing her hair for years, I know that must have felt something, you know, her hairstylist could not do weave. And she showed me a picture of her hair. Her hair was like really long, her real hair. At that point, she didn't have any because she was going through chemo. So I just was like, wow, you know, I, I, I didn't really know a whole lot, but I did, you know, a really decent job on her hair. It was a, a, a wig and my instructor knew I knew how to do wigs. We were making the wigs with the glue, like the uh, black glue. So I made her a wig on one of those and I, I did a really decent job. I felt like it was decent and she loved it. She cried after she got done. And it was just one of those glue wigs onto a stocking cap back in the day. That's what we were doing, you know, uh, coming from Michigan. You know, I grew up um, off of um, people like Little Willie. You guys probably don't remember him or some of you guys do, but he was amazing at wigs. And I just thought, you know, wow, I'm so glad that I took, you know, um, myself to you know different hair shows to learn different things and that's where i learned that at and you know i was able to make her happy or whatever that day and that made me feel good so i said you know what i need to train more into hair replacement you know what i'm saying so i went in and um after hair school i went to go train in some different places like i did uh bosley and hair club for men you know different places like that and that is how i you know know the information that i do know i wasn't able to stay at those places too long because you know me and my husband was military so we moved around a lot so you know i wasn't able to like i didn't get you know a, as much training that i wanted to when it came to um uh, uh, surgical because if you assisted you would get to see some of those things if you were there long enough but I was not there that long enough so I just assisted with non-surgical and that is what I provide you know products for now is non-surgical hair replacement and I think a lot of people tend to forget that this is this is hair replacement so you guys have to follow the rules this is hair replacement regardless of whether you have hair or not you have to follow the rules and these rules and these um, the foundation that I built my brand on is from my experience in the past of learning you know what these different products are you know I even had a young lady on uh, social media you know how social media can be be real funny people comment because that's their prerogative they can comment on a, a, um, a page that is you know open to the public and that's fine but it's just really weird you know when people are uneducated on something and I know that's what I don't get upset I know that's that is the issue they're uneducated on you know the product and how it works she was insinuating that you know you're trying to promote people purchasing the remover when they could use this or they could use that nobody's skin is going to get um torn using alcohol you know maybe torn is a a, a stretch of a word i don't know but it's it, it gives you a tear just like a paper cut and you cannot see it okay and and people can attest to that so and I can attest to that myself, um, that's what happened. So I'm pretty much giving you guys, you know, my experience on here, you know, when it comes to hair replacement, because that's what it is. You know, I can't call it anything else because it is what it is. Okay, so I got everything off. As you can see, all of the glue is totally off. Okay, the only thing the only thing is this cap is still stuck on here a lot of people uh this is another concern that i have guys this right here was secured using the liquid gold the liquid gold all it takes is water to release it i um i really don't like for you guys to use glue to secure the cap don't get mad at me just shoot the messenger, huh? I don't like you guys using glue because even though, you know, you may be able to remove it off, you know, safely, what if you're putting it on a client? I, and, and, and not just a client, what if you are in a rush and you're trying to get that off? You know, I just would hate for that to be glue on your hair and the cap, okay? So if you look at this, this has been on here, you know, and it's not sliding, it's still stuck, okay? 
And all I did was use the liquid gold to seal the cap. And you can see that in the video where we show you how to use the liquid gold. And the only thing that I won't have to worry about glue residue on my hair. Okay, me rushing or the client for whatever reason, they had to take it off themselves. I don't have to worry about them in, you know, hurting their hair. Because that's the one thing people forget. People forget hair care. Okay, you can't forget hair care. Just because, you know, my social media, you see wigs, weave, lace. I do everything, baby. I do jerry curls. But I'm mainly, your first job as a hairstylist is hair care. If you are not a hairstylist and you're touching hair, your first job is hair care. Okay, even if it's just, even if it's yourself, your first job is hair care. You don't have to be a hairstylist. Your first job is safety first. Okay, so the only thing is going to remove this. All you need is water. And you don't have to worry about glue residue on your real hair. Okay. This stuff, this liquid gold is no joke, right? You guys, make sure on that liquid gold, just off topic, on that liquid gold, make sure you guys... Um, don't use a lot at one time because you're going to get it white. And if you sit there and you put it on and you just wipe it, wipe it. I'm going to put it. I'm actually going to do the liquid gold when I take this off because that's what I, I, I really like to take my wig off. It's just easy for me. So, look at that. Just water. Water. And, and even though water takes it off, I'm not going to pull. I'm not going to be rough. This is my hair. Like, I have to be gentle. And even though, like, I have, like, a lot of face space, I got a lot of, I got a big head. And, you know, I'm mainly going to wear wigs. I'm still going to take care of my real hair. I'm not going to neglect my real hair. I'm going to be careful with my hair. And, and just like this, I'm not going to pull. Like, if it's not sliding off, I'm not going to take that off. I want it to slide off. I want to take care of my real hair. Like this piece is stuck. So I'll spray that with water. And massage it in. Like be care. Like you're first, the first, when you're touching any hair, safety is first. Like see how that's stuck on there? I'm not going to snatch that off. Safety first. Like it needs to slide off. Okay. You guys need to slow down. Just slow down. We're living in a times where I understand, like, a lot of you guys are not going to be going to the salon. So, a lot of times you're going to be trying to do your own hair. I get it. Okay? But if you are going to do that, you got to slow down so that you can get those, you know, maximum results. That's key. Okay, so on the remover as well. Sometimes if you do get glue in the hair, like, I... I put some in here on purpose just so and I let it dry. So let me let let me zoom in. Okay, so right here is glue. Okay. Um we don't want to scrub that out with the towel, right? What I want you to do is I want you to take the remover. You can spray some in there. We'll let it sit off camera for a couple minutes. Okay, so, okay, so I did let it sit, so it broke it down some. So you can, if you get glue on there, you wanna go in, you can go in with your comb and kind of finish breaking it up before you shampoo it. Like, I don't want you scrubbing at that, okay? Break it up with a comb if it's on the hair. I try my best not to get it on hair though. Okay, so don't mind these like rough, braids my hair is growing back okay so this is I'm not about to wash my hair <laughs> or whatever I'm not about to wash my hair mm -mm. I just wiped that li liquid gold back and I'm about to reapply my wig I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with my liquid gold in the head and I don't like how it feels so I'm gonna cheat I also didn't spray that remover like all in my hair it's just it was just on the lace I literally like to wash my hair like every two weeks I like to shampoo deep condition and go under the steamer but I just washed my hair last week okay so now I'm slicked back and we're gonna go ahead and clean this wig. Okay, so 
on this particular unit, I don't have a lot of glue. You'll see glue here. You'll see glue here. And I got a little glue here. And that's because I let my glue dry properly. Okay. Um, I did have a video. We do have a video on here where there's a lot of glue. And that's why I put that video up. Because I know that when I do mine, I'm not going to have a lot of glue. I'm never going to have a lot of glue because I let my, my glue dry properly. And that's in our videos. And I'll attach that video as well. So what I like to do is take a dry towel and roll off whatever's going to roll off all of it may not roll off it just depends especially if you know it uh, is a little greasy from the uh, the remover sometimes if you let it dry you know, if it dried overnight, it, it even roll off even better. That's just the remover, you know, kind of in there. I, I really shampoo mine and it comes right off. But you can see how that breaks down and come right out. And I just go ahead and it just comes right out. Now I can shampoo it. It's going to break. The glue is going to break down because it's a water-based glue. It's not like an acrylic. It's not a silicone. It's going to break down. It's going to break down from just water and shampoo. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put my shampoo across here. Okay. It's going to come right out. gonna lather it I don't use anything like um, I, I know I see people doing the toothbrush and alcohol I don't want to do that I don't want to do anything to take a chance of ripping my lace or nothing like that it comes right out with just shampoo you know if you guys make sure you let the glue dry it, everything is gonna come off really easy you're not gonna have glue stuck in the lace if you let your glue dry properly. I know I keep saying that, but I, I feel like I have to keep saying it. I'm going to stop the uh, camera because I want you guys to see this in real time. I'm not done shampooing it. But you can see, basically everything is already out from just shampoo. Okay? But I know it's still oily. And that's probably why people are using alcohol not probably, but that's why people are using alcohol to take these lace off because they don't want to have to deal with the oil from the remover. But I just walked you guys through the steps of understanding, you know, everything that as to why it's important to use that remover instead of alcohol. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and shampoo this just a little bit more. Okay, so I washed it about two times now, but I'm going to go in for a third time because, yes, I used the infamous remover with the, the oily remover with the dissolvent in it, and I don't want any oil on my lace. So let me hit it one more time. You can use, uh, some people don't like to use a clarifying shampoo, you know, on their lace. So if you want to, you can do a, um, a baking soda mix with shampoo to break down all the oil. But uh, I really don't mind a clarifying. It doesn't bother me. But I know everybody have different um, particular things that they are uh, when it comes to uh, hair and things like that. But uh, I don't mind a clarifying. That's what I'm using right now, a clarifying shampoo. 
Okay, so I like to mold mine on the mannequin. Sometimes you know how you get those hairs or whatever. Some people use hairspray. Sometimes I do hairspray. But if you had an opportunity, you will like to mousse it. I'm just using my red can mousse. You can use whatever mousse that you want to use. I'm just using, I don't know if y'all saw that really good, but it's red can to mold back those hairs. And you see how you have on like, they're kind of like wispy or whatever. You can take all of that back. Some people even do their baby hair like on the mannequin. I like that idea too because it like makes it look smooth. It's totally up to you. But this is how I do mine. So I'll go in with some paper strips and tie it down. Okay guys, so if you're interested in watching me care for the liquid gold, how I remove it and how I clean it and how I put it back on so you can get these results, stay tuned and I'll put the link here for you to watch that video now. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on.